How do you record a Zoom meeting for a YouTube podcast to get the best results for audio and video and have a complete safety backup? This is the Great British YouTubers podcast with me, Neil Mossy. Hello. Really good to have you here for this episode, because in this one, we're going to show you, we, it's just me, <laughs> we're going to show you the very best way of recording a Zoom podcast while actually having a Zoom call. Here it is. I'm recording myself right now in Zoom. This is how I look and sound. There you are. This is how I look and sound off the webcam that's going into Zoom. And I've set Zoom to record. Now I'm going to show you my setup just to show you all the ways that I try to get the very best audio and video while also actually capturing whatever's happening on the conversation. Let's get my phone. I'll show you what I am seeing. So I've got the Zoom call on my PC in front of me and on top of my monitor, I've got the webcam so that the guest can see me. So the Zoom part of the recording is, is all good. And in front of that, I am recording locally as well to get the very best sound and picture in case the Zoom call breaks up or if the, if the quality isn't so good. Sometimes the sound is a bit muffled and a bit broken up and the picture quality isn't the very best. This is, and I can guarantee that I'm going to record everything on my side of the call with my Osmo Pocket right here. Down here, you can see I have a microphone connection. I've got four cameras going on. I don't know which one to look at. This is my good quality microphone. So at least I know that I'm recording my side of the conversation at full high res, high definition quality. Now I'm also recording a backup. So as well as recording the Zoom call itself, and I'll click back and this is how I look with the conversation recorded locally at my end. Let me show you what I'm doing with the audio down here. This cable is my audio coming out of the PC and I'm splitting, I'm splitting the audio two ways. One side of that goes into my earphones, my little headphones, and I've got that, I don't know if I can show this, put the camera on my back. <laughs> I've got the earphones running up and I've actually bulldog clipped the, the wire so that it doesn't just dangle in shots and I've got it tucked, tucked behind my ear. And then the other side of the audio splitter goes through this cable here all the way into my GoPro. Now the GoPro I'm using just as a backup, just in case the zoom recording fails and my camera fails. I've got this backup that's recording the audio in on two sides. You can probably hear me on, on the left hand side. That's because I've got a splitter here and I've got uh, a microphone here just to capture me as a backup in case my camera fails. And this side of the splitter going into the GoPro is the audio from the PC, which is basically the other side of the conversation. So I've got the Zoom recording being recorded manually on my camera here. And I've got this, this picture just in case anything goes wrong with any of this. I've got some kind of backup plan. So that's how my side of the conversation looks. What do you think? Is this setup too cautious? <laughs> if I didn't have the GoPro backup, that's absolutely fine, but I would be relying completely on the Zoom recording. And if anything were to happen to that, then I, I potentially might not have the other side of the call. What I do on top of this, because I work with some fantastic guests, they're so generous. I ask them if it's possible for the guests to record their side of the conversation. Even if it's just the audio, it means that the episode sounds so much better because I'm getting the sound recorded at their end and not whatever the Zoom connection feels like it's giving during the meeting. So that means I have full high resolution local recordings at my end and at the guest's end. And I have the Zoom recording to effectively sync up and back up that entire conversation. In the edit, what I do is I lay down the Zoom recording first. In Final Cut Pro, I put the two sides of the conversation together visually and put the two halves of the audio together in the edit. But if I didn't want to do that, just having 
two sides of the conversation recorded locally on audio is absolutely all you need to get a top quality podcast out of Zoom. What I can do with that video now is lift the audio and release the audio as a podcast. And I know that I've got absolutely the best quality podcast there. So that is my setup. That is how I record the Great British YouTubers podcast. What do you think? Is this a bit of overkill? <laughs> Would you do this for your podcast? I'd love to know if you have any tips or tricks for recording podcasts via Zoom meetings and Zoom recordings. Leave me a comment below. And if this video has helped you with your podcast setup, please just hit the like button just to let me know somebody reached this point of the video. It'd be great to see you. And obviously, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll help me get closer to 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge help. So thank you for being awesome. And I'll see you on the very next episode of the Great British YouTubers podcast. Thanks for watching. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.